Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to be swapping the connectors on the upper cam today between two different power supplies for the PlayStation 4 Slim. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what we can be able to get done today. All right, as you can see, we have two totally different PS4 Slim power supply connectors. Now, the one we have up here is the working one right here. This one has um, four above, four pins that sit above. All right, there we go. So the working one has four pins sitting above. But we actually need the one that has four pins below, like this one. So we're going to need to swap these is because... Um, I don't want this customer waiting any longer and I would rather just get them a working power supply right now um, Now I have done this before a couple times in the past and I've had some people ask me if these power supplies are interchangeable uh, Which the answer is obviously yes something dropped which was a screw and I have done it before in the past now the two different power supplies that i have the broken one it's an adp 160cr that's what we need to take the port off of the working one that we're going to exchange the port with is the adp 160er okay so what happened was and this is very common with power supplies um a roach crawled inside of the power supply and grounded something that shouldn't have been grounded and short circuited it and blew something out on this motherboard. So it's very common uh, when it comes down to these boards. But besides me even going in and trying to replace anything on these boards, I always just swap them out. Um, it's not even, just not even worth my time. I keep a bunch of these power supplies in stock, so I just don't even do that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to first flip both of these upside down and we're going to go under the microscope and I'm going to show you guys something underneath the microscope. Okay, cool. So here is the broken one. As you can see, the first one is a five volt line. The second one is a ground, which is important. Um, the next one is going to be a standby. The next one is going to be an AC in line. Now let's swap out. Let's check the other one that we're swapping out with. Um, first one is a five volt, perfect. Next one is a ground. Next one is standby. Last one is the ACN. So they should work um, because they both have the same pattern. So what I am going to do is move this out the way. I'm gonna set this kind of on the corner find a good place to clamp this down and I'm just going to have it sitting just like this and I can be able to take my small pair of tweezers which are right here I'm going to pop some 8341 no clean flux right here right over the pins and we're going to pull this off of the board so here is a clamp Okay, so this is the broken one. Um, I'm gonna put I'm putting my fume extractor right next to it. I have that going. As you can see I have the 8341 no clean flux. On top of that, that helps the solder melt. Now I'm gonna take my tular heat wand and I'm just gonna point it, direct it right above those pins, as you can see. We're going to heat up these pins. We're going to melt this solder. I got my heat wand set at 40% airflow. And I have the temperature set at 440. That kind of seems to like the sweet spot where it gets hot enough to get this off the board but not too weak where it's gonna take forever. So as you can see, we got the old port successfully taken off. All right, so here is the new board. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 
83-41, no clean flux on there. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to take off the old port and prepare it for the new port. So let's get that done. All right, as you can see, we have the old port taken off. Now we need to prepare this space to be able to accept the port that we want this to be able to retrofit to. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is pop some flux on here. I got some gunk on this syringe that I need to clean off. We're just going to take our, this is some desolder braid. I'm just taking it and I'm just going around and cleaning off of the old solder in there so we can prepare it to receive the other port and we can be able to get some new solder put on so let's look from up top as you can see there it is right there we have a little bit that i want to get off from up top so let's get the solder iron back out All right, as you can see, I went on ahead and took that solder off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my toothbrush. I just dipped it in some 99% IPA. I'm going to put my towel right around it. We'll go back under the microscope, and we're just going to clean this area. I'm also going to clean underneath. All right, so as you can see, that looks good. So let's switch back up above. I'm gonna have it hang it off the table just a little bit so we can get it prepared for our new port. And now we're just going to insert the port into the hose. So I'm gonna try my best to try to line them up. I know it's kind of hard to see under the microscope, but what I'm doing is I'm just lining up the points with the holes. As you can see, I got it in there. Um, so yeah, now we need to get that solder into place. So now we need to go right back underneath. All right, great. So as you can see, we have all the points sticking out from the other side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply flux. And we are going to take our solder wire and if you want to know the exact tools that i use everything is down in the description below what i'm doing is i'm going to tan my solder tip now we're going to hit every single point and just touch it and just get that solder just to flow on nice using that flux So I'm looking down at it. I can see all the points. I got the board at an angle. I can see all the points are intact. I'm going to take my toothbrush, clean it up a little bit. And that looks great. Um, so now I'm just going to thoroughly um, clean this area. I'm just now dipping my toothbrush in there again. again and I'm going to clean up all the residue. And that should be it all right so now we're back to the upper cams you can see this is as you could tell the working board but now we have a totally different port so there is the port that we retrofitted on this board and fits in there just fine so now we are good all right, so we have the PS4 partially put back together. We have the board back in here. <laughs> now it's time for the moment of truth. We got power and it's staying on, which is something we didn't have last time. So let me put this HDMI cord in here. I'm gonna flip the 
TV over to the correct input. And there we have it. As you can see, we have a PS4 that is fully working with a board that we took off of a totally different console. So, um, yeah. I mean, if you ever question if anything works like that, as long as the pins aligned and whatever voltage, ground, standby, ACN, it, that's supposed to go through the right port is going through the same exact pattern that the other board is going to, then it usually should always work. So I haven't had an issue doing this in the past before, so I just wanted to make a video show you guys this. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments below, just make sure you just leave it in the comments box below. Also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel, like this video if this video did help you out, or if you did enjoy this video, or just stay this long. But besides that, I hope to see you guys on the flip side, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.